there are over 250 million acres of crops in the United States, and nearly as many ways to harvest them. But the machine that has come to embody harvest time in the heartland is still the mighty combine. No other harvester can match the combine's mixture of ferocious cutting, gentle sorting, and rapid unloading, which turns a dozen rows of towering plants into market-ready grain in seconds. It gets its name from the combination of a lot of different processes that go on. It cuts the grain, it elevates the grain up to the thrashing system, where it separates the grain from the plant itself, and then cleans it, separating the chaff from the grain, taking the grain then up to the grain tank. The bigger the combine, the more it can produce. And none is bigger than the Lexion 590. The Lexion 590R combine, weight of vehicle 46,000 pounds. Width of cutter head, 40 feet. Engine, 462 horsepower Caterpillar C13 diesel. Diet, 24 different crops. Up to 1,800 bushels of wheat or 4,800 bushels of corn per hour. When it debuted in 2004, the Lexion 500 series set the ag world on its ear. Its maker, Omaha, Nebraska-based Kloss, chose to unveil the high-tech machine at the nearby Strategic Air Command Museum. The reaction from the market was one of astonishment, actually. I was really impressed. We run it in corn first. I've never seen something that would take corn like that machine did. Whatever crop it's devouring, the Lexion 590 is the biggest, no matter how you slice it. From the largest production engine to the heaviest overall body, but it was the unprecedented 40-foot cutter head that really caused Jaws to drop from Yakima to Wichita. The cutter heads can tackle a wide range of crops, but they're geared toward the big three, wheat, corn, and soybeans. This is the F540, which is the largest factory-produced flex head in the market. This is a head that's used specifically for harvesting soybeans. A unique feature of this head is that it contains a flexible cutting bar system that is used to keep the bar very close to the ground to harvest soybeans from the top all the way down to the bottom of the plant. The head can be switched to a different crop setting faster than farmers from previous eras could have dreamed. To do that quickly, we provide a multi-coupler which actually allows us to hook up or disconnect from the head quickly. This actually has all the functions of hydraulics and electrical needed to operate this head. So a gentleman can go from soybeans into corn within only a few minutes. Combines have come a long way since the first horse-drawn versions were attempted in the 1830s. These machines were the first to combine Cyrus McCormick's new mechanical reaper with traditional threshing machines. Animal-powered combines, some using up to 16 horses, lasted well into the 20th century, along with steam-powered machines. The internal combustion engine made tractor-drawn combines common by the 1920s. The modern self-propelled combine reached maturity in the 1950s, but they were only just beginning to get big. Yeah, back in the, probably in the mid-50s, we went from running one and two row pickers to 16 rows now. The real area of improvement and development evolution has been the harvesting capacities, being able to move to such phenomenal capabilities these days. Improvements in hydraulic, electric, and computer control have led to increased performance where it counts on a combine, in the threshing system. The process of threshing is the act of removing kernels from the stalks. And as we harvest it, we bring that, that plant with its seeds into the machine. And when we say the word threshing, that means we are moving the seeds or taking the seeds off of the, the plant. The rotary separation system we have is where we can actually separate the grain from the straw. After an initial threshing, the rotor centrifugal action moves the grain down and away from the straw, which is conveyed out the rear of the combine. 
Every function on the 590 is driven by the 462 horsepower engine. In this business, the meaning of horsepower is well understood. And the world's biggest combine starts with lots of it. But it's distributing those 462 horses that makes a combine a factory on wheels. The actual diesel engine, big as it is, sits atop a much larger system of hydraulic cylinders and mechanical drive belts. And so we pull off of the engine a hydrostatic pump, which actually powers the ground drive, as well as bringing off drives that power the threshing system and the separating system and the cleaning system. And those all have individual drives. Logic dictates that the biggest and most powerful cutting head requires the world's biggest grain tank, which holds 360 bushels of product. To the non-farmer, that's roughly about 20,000 pounds of grain. But with the 590's rate of harvesting, even such a large bin can fill up in as little as five minutes. Thus, the world's longest and most powerful unloading auger. We're usually unloading on the go. We never stop. And then we run four semis, taking it from the field to the elevator. We use a 3.3 bushel per second unloading, which means you can unload the 360 bushel in less than two minutes. While the crop is gathered, the residue is chopped and scattered, a crucial part in the cycle of growth on a farm. If you do that effectively and efficiently, that will help reduce some of your costs for tillage uh, and have a nice even distribution of that material to really let nature take effect and break that material down faster. Most of the people who worked on the 500 series combine, from engineering to marketing, grew up on a farm. They know the demands of harvest time. We usually run 14 and 15 hour days. Like this last season, we started on the 16th of September, where we finished up a little after Thanksgiving. And it's pretty much nonstop, seven days a week. For today's farmer, the name of the game and the allure of giant combines like the 590 is efficiency. If we look at the Lexion 590, and saying that it's the biggest combine in the world, we have to ask ourselves, what's the benefits to the farmer? And the benefits of this is, is a timely harvesting of his crop so that he can harvest at the peak time, which means he can maximize the grain quality that he gets, which means he can maximize the money into his pocket. We're doing now with one combine what we used to do with four and five machines and four and five operators. Always wonder where it's gonna stop. Uh, I don't know how it can get much bigger, but I'm sure it's coming. Big machines are essential to feeding the world. And in a big universe, they also help us look for new worlds. The amount of corn unloaded from Alexion 590 in one second could provide nearly 1,000 moviegoers with a large-sized bag of popcorn each.